Steve, many congratulations. Rolling back the years here on the Ali Pali stage, just sum up your emotions after that match. Um, it was a tough game. You know, I, I, I mean, I didn't know a lot about the the lad, you know, and, and everybody keep asking me, and I, but um, I knew he was runner up to uh, Luke Little, and I thought, well, he, he can't be that bad, you know, and but he, he come out firing like nobody's business, and I thought, oh, gee, I'm in trouble here, but you know, just I, I picked a couple of good shots out, which uh, kept me in the game. Making your 33rd consecutive World Championship appearance this year, do you still get the same buzz when you walk up on that famous stage? Oh gee, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, when walking up there with that crowd is is unbelievable. You know, that's what that's what you play for. You know, you you're not going to get that buzz anywhere else. And uh, you know, they, they don't let me down. They were great again tonight, and uh, the support was unbelievable. Brilliant. I mean, that obviously the whistle came back really strongly in that third set. It was threatening to fall to a decider. So you've got so much experience on the big stage, but how are the nerves at the end of that game? Well, the thir- I started to go in the third set, and then you, you sort of have to. I mean, even when I was two 0 down in the fourth, I, I thought, well, just just get back in this because you know I, I know I can do it, and um, it's so easy just to. I was two sets in the lob, thinking, you know, I, was, I still knew I knew how to have one set, but he, like I say, he just did not miss. You know, he was a great player, and uh, I think he'd be around for a long while yet to come. You know, and. You know, it was good for me. I'm, I'm glad I played somebody tough than playing an easy player. You mentioned there, with a really high quality battle, do you feel that's one of your best performances on the big stage for quite a while? Yeah, definitely. It's better when you're playing against somebody that's going to either hammer you. <laughs> you know, you don't want to get given games, you know, and, and he, he was up there just, it was unbelievable. I mean, he, this, he was quite speedy as well, you know, very quick. I mean, I'm quite quick, but he was very quick. But... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, um, I couldn't believe it when I went two sets in the up, but I had to take every chance to do that. And, uh, you know, then I had to just hold on then, really. And it's Daryl Gurney up there for you in round two. What are your thoughts on that contest? Um, well, it, I'm glad I've had a good game first, really, because it, it, I didn't want an easy game first or anything. I, I've had a tough game, so I know I'm going to have another tough game. So, you know, I'm going to go into the next game, you know, hopefully confident and, and you know I'm, I'm going to do the biz but you know I'll, I'll play Daryl loads of times and you know I know how capable he is. Steve, well done. Steve congratulations for the 23rd World Championship as it was said earlier. Where do you still get the motivation and the drive from to keep coming back and back? Um, well this year was I, I thought this year was going to probably be my last but I started off really well and you know I, I was in the match play I, I didn't perform in the match play me and Michael played terrible but you know, that, that's, that's the things that really annoy me, really, is when I'm on the TV, I don't perform. And um, so, obviously, I've kept me tour card this year, and I've got, you know, I was in the Worlds this year, and, I'm, I'm, you know, I'll probably do another year now. And I honestly thought this was this probably was going to be my last year, but, you know, uh, things like that tonight, you know, really encourage me, and you think, well, oh, I ain't finished yet, you know, I can still do, you know, and, uh, you know, that's what keeps me going, really. You said, obviously, you thought about your tour card situation your last year. Have you planned for life after darts then? Yeah, I mean, there's, it's pl- there's plenty of things. I mean, I'll do loads of exhibitions all the time, you know, and, you know, you've got the seniors now coming up if I want to go into that and things like, you know, so, you know, there's plenty, plenty of things I, c- I can do. I, I, I love darts and I just want to compete, really. So, you know, I'll probably definitely go on the exhibition circuit and uh, probably in the seniors. You said you didn't know much about Russell. Were you aware of the backstory, obviously, him serving suspension and, and then coming back? No, no, I, I heard a, a little whisper about things going on and that lot, but, you know, if, if he's done his dues, then fair enough to him, you know, but, you know, that's that's another thing, isn't it, I suppose. Steve, many congratulations. Steve, you talk about when you thought this might be the last year playing darts like that, we might still be seeing you here in five years' time. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't I, I think, no, I think ne- next year I'll definitely be a I mean, you know, it, I... I However, this this tournament goes. You know, I'm 60 next year. I can't. It's a grueling circuit. The pro tour circuit is very grueling, and you know, it's. You know, I, I mean, I've been married 30 odd years now, and, and my wife hardly sees me. You know, I'm, I'm only home half the year. You know, it's, it's. People don't seem to understand how far, how much you have to do really to, 
to carry on with the darts. You know, it's great if you're a youngster now. You know, I'd have been buzzing. You know, I'd, I'd have loved it if it was that. You know, if it was like that when I was 21. You know, but um, no, it's it's quite quite draining, and uh, you know, it'd be nice to spend a bit of time at home for a change. Even if you were to remain in the top 64, would you consider this coming at a day? Well, even if I win the Wills, you know, I, I, I still, I still, I still have to, you know, sit back and think, you know, you know, you can't keep going, you know, and you've got to be serious. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, I'd love to win the Wills. So that'd be, that'd be a good way to go out. Phil tried it, but lost in the final, didn't he? But you know, yeah, you know, you just you never know. But I can't see me seeing after another year. No. Retirement, something you've been thinking up, thinking about for a while, then, Steve. Or? Well, no, no, not really. I just, I just, I mean, it's great, just get, uh, just qualifying from the worlds. The worlds is, is what every dark player wants to play in, and you know that that's what you want to qualify for. It, it's like I said in the earlier one. I just, I just hate it when I come here and play bad. You know, you play, you do all that to get here, and and it just all goes out the window. But you know, it, I enjoyed the game tonight. You know, and it was, it was a good competitive game. Um, I actually thought one of us was going to get a nine, but <laughs> it, it didn't happen. But yeah, you know, he he was such a good player, and you know, I've got total respect for him. He, he played really well. At this stage of your career, is it just about enjoyment as much, or do you still get that same buzz from, from winning the game? Oh, I still get, I still get the buzz. Yeah, of course I do. I mean, I, you know, I'm gonna great. I can go home, relax tonight, you know, and and and. Although I've got, I am, I can't spend Christmas at home yet because I've got the 23rd to come, but. Um, yeah, you know, it's great to be part of it. You know, uh, you, you know, they do a great job in the darts, and you know, to put, a, you know, an ex, you know, just just a tournament like that on is, is absolutely unbelievable. You know, and and like you say, the tickets have been sold out. You know, people want to come and watch it, and it's great to be part of it. Yeah, and obviously you've been part of this journey from you know the start of this, the past couple of decades as well. So to see it grow up from. How it started at the Circus Tavern to how it is now. How, how's it been? Been part of that journey? Oh, I mean, it, it it goes back a long way for me before when with the split and all that lot, you know. And it was just one of them things, you know. I always wanted to win the embassy, and and that's why I didn't go with the boys in the first place. But we were always good mates, and we did exhibitions together, and and it was just one of them things. But you know, if it, if they didn't do that split this wouldn't have happened and you know it just, it just proved now with Barry coming in how he can change the game around and you know get it where it is today it's unbelievable. Steve it's your 33rd consecutive world championship the PDC is not even that old what do you put your longevity down to? I try to keep fit I mean there was a thing in the Guardian paper the other day we had an interview and that lot I mean I, when, when, when I am at home, it's only half the year. Yeah. But I, I try to try to you know keep myself fit. You know, I've got a bike. You know, I go cycling. Um, it's not an e-bike. It's a proper mountain bike. You know, I don't cheat. And, <laughs> sorry, I should, maybe I shouldn't say that. But um, yeah, I, I I do that, and then I go to the gym, swim, and that lot. So I honestly think if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be still playing now. So uh, you know, you, you you've got to keep looking after your body and and keep trying that's what I'm saying I'm 60 next year I, I honestly can't keep you know battling along and, and things like that so you know I'm going to have to cave in in the end I think. Well, we've seen a lot of young guys coming through now look like 16 years old he'll be on this stage what advice would you give to the young guys coming through at the start of their career I think I think the best thing is to enjoy it you know and, and I mean I, I started off with friends and that lot down my local pub just having a, having a game and you know the loser marks and but it, I think your best practice is playing with, amongst yourselves it, it's all right practicing at home on your own but there's nothing like practicing amongst yourselves you know you, you want to get a little group between you and, and just keep beating each other up you know that, that's that's the best way of doing it really you know because I think it's great to practice on your own. You can, you can do a lot of things on your own, thinking, oh, I'm great, and then game on, and it all goes out the window. And honestly, that, that is the best advice I could give is, you know, stick with your mates and you just play amongst yourselves, really. Final question from me. How would you assess your year so far? You've won on the World Championship stage, but also made your return to the Winter Gathering as well. Um, yeah, I mean, like I say, I started off well at the beginning of the year. Um, I just had one bad week in Hildesheim, which cost me the um, uh, a few tournaments. I, I was in the match play and then I, I, I didn't qualify for the Grand Prix and then I missed out on the European one by, I don't know, 50 quid or 500 quid or something. But 
it was just one bad week and, and that, that's what can cost you you know the, the, the standard now is that high you just cannot afford to lose games and, and drop down the rankings and you know Covid killed me because I dropped out of the 32 and once you drop out of the 32 it's very hard to get back in and uh, you know I've been fine to get back in again whether I'll get back in the 32 again I'll, I'll never know but yeah it's, 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 it's a tough tough old game yeah Steve, huge congratulations